I'm Southern Outdoor 7. It's Buddy Garrett Bottom bringing another video to you today. We're using, we're going to show you how to catch flathead and channel cat. This is my old pen reel. It's pretty old, but it's still a good reel. And this is my old rod. We got 20 pound test um, main mm -hmm. line. And then I got this flat wet right here that you get from Bass Pro Shop. It's pretty high, but it holds it on the bottom, not like a circle lead. It won't roll. And then we got seven uh, size seven swivels, but you can use b bigger, smaller, whatever size fish you're gonna catch. We're using a size three alt circle hook. Now these hooks here, they they ain't when you get hung up, they're hard to get out. But the fish, if he ever gets on there, he won't come off. And then I forgot to tell you about our leader line here. It's a suffix 14 pound test, low visibility green, so it. It's not real big, but you know, it'll work for a catfish, what we trying to catch. So, last night we, uh, oh, this, actually it was today, we caught uh, three flathead and three channel cat. We caught the channel cat on a rock wall, which are, are also called soapstones, but um, we call them limestones down here, like I told you in another video. And, uh, and we caught them flatheads and old treetops down there. I'm going to show you how to rig this up. You'll take that flat lead I told you, and you'll put it on there. It don't matter if you put it up or down. It doesn't really matter how you do it. And you're going to take that swivel. I just use a regular knot. I'll show you how to do this. You'll take it, and you'll put put your line through that hole right there. And you'll pull it out like that. And I just tie me in a little knot at the end right here just where it won't slip. If it does slip, it won't slip off. So I'll pull it tight like that. I'll pull it with my teeth and make it tight. And then I'll come out. I'll use probably six. And it's, it's like this now. Got the piece, the knot at the end. And I'll take it and I'm going to, I'll wrap it six times. Like this. And then I'm going to come, go back through that hole right there. And come through the big hole. So then, that's what I call my fish knot right here. And he can't pull it off. And then I got some regular old, um, some regular old clippers here, and fingernail clippers. I use them just to clip my line off. I don't have to cut it with my teeth. And then I got a line done made. It's somewhere around here. It's done made for uh, for my, my cat fish. It's probably three foot at least. Big, pretty long line here. And I'm just going to tie that same knot, just like I tied my leader on. And I'm going to tie this to the other side of my leader. And you can make a uh, leader line shorter if you need to. Yeah, it don't have to be long. I just make it long so if your leg gets hung up, it don't mean your, your line or your hook is going to get hung up. And plus, if you make it long in that current area, it ain't just going to be swift. It ain't going to be just sitting on the bottom here. I like, I like to have plenty of room to be... Used, used in my stuff. And in them limestone walls, they got some deep holes. We like to have long so we can just drop it down in there. In them deep holes. Yeah, we we catch a lot of catfish around here. And we... You... Can't pull that sucker off of there. No matter how hard. I'll clip it. And... See, look right here. I think... That piece of hook right here, my lead here, it can't go no farther. And that's the catfish rig right there. Got your good hook, circle hook on there. You put that bait through there. You can use, we use live, if you're going to try to catch some flatheads, you're going to want to use a circle hook with some live bait on it. Live bait, you'll put, you'll put that live bait, you can hook it through the eyes, but it ain't going to live near as long as you hook it through the back. But if you just want to catch your old channel cap, you can get you some, we call them river roaches down here. You can catch them on the river. 
Or you can catch you some shiners, get you some shiners, hook them through the back. You can get you some chicken liver, which you don't need near big as hook. You're going to put chicken liver on. Right there will be plenty big hook for you. It's just a little old hook there. But I use that to catch little catfish. But and you can use cut bait, any kind of cut bait works good for a channel cat, but you ain't gonna catch near as many flatheads on cut bait. Them flatheads would rather have live bait down there. Yeah, if you're just out brim fishing, you catch some little brim that you're gonna throw back, just keep them, dip a little bit of water in your bucket, and throw them in there. And if you them, uh, don't matter how big, you can have your brim big as your hand. And he'll, them flatheads, they, they got a big enough mouth on them that they can just suck that sucker up. You, you, can catch, you can catch all the flatheads you want down in the river. They just taking over the population. Is that it? That's it.